All right, so here's the young contender, Yair Rodriguez. A big win over the Korean zombie Chan Sung Jung in November of 2018. Really put him back on the fast track. Big spot for Yair here too. Yeah, it's a big moment for Yair Rodriguez. He's one of those guys that you look at and you understand that there's a star quality about him. But then after you get past all of that, you realize that there's a fantastic fighter. The flying head kick of Andre Feely. That beautiful front kick that he landed against BJ Penn to finish him. Put him in a position where he fought Frankie Edgar and in the Korean zombie afterwards. He has truly earned his right to call himself one of the best featherweights in the entire world. But ever since he made his UFC debut, the focus has not just been contention, it has been to win a world title and we'll try to take a step in that direction here tonight. Yair Rodriguez, ready to battle and take home that elusive UFC goal. So here is the UFC featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky. He certainly has cleaned out a lot of this division, but there are still guys who are coming to take what is his. How do you think he proceeds with this particular challenge here today? I mean, just being himself, he's as good as they come. The guy has tremendous striking, he's at great wrestling. He was thought to be a wrestler when he got here. We have seen him be a master of game plan. We have seen him be a master of strategy. A guy that fights with the game plan, the fight IQ, and tonight, you're going to experience one of the smartest, most technically gifted fighters you have ever seen. Let's see if that's enough, though, because the challenge is very big tonight as he steps into the outcome. And he does so having four times gone the full 25 minutes in the UFC. Volkanovski very much has a championship style. And he has got another title fight on his hands tonight. And Johnny, look at that. I mean, yes, he, goes, yes. he goes the distance. It seems like he's just running in the park, taking a night job on the weekend. Fighting yeah. the best fighters in the world. And had he stayed in rugby league, probably would have been an absolute beast there, too. And now our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, yeah, El Patera Rodriguez. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC. Herb Dean, third party in the octagon Fight. tonight. Watch right, so the featherweight king, Alexander the Great Volkanovsky, makes the walk again tonight as the pound for pound king. We'll see how it goes in this unification bout. Yair Rodriguez looks ready to go. To watch Volkanovsky improve every time he steps in the octagon is really a sight to behold. He's so good already, but he continues to get better. The same can be said about Yair Rodriguez. We had never seen Yair look better than when he fought Josh Emmett. If he could fight at that range, he could cause problems for both. This is going to be an amazing fight. All right, so an outstanding job by him here to secure the takedown early. Stylistically, we wondered how much resistance there would be. Not much on that. It was very difficult to defend with a guy like this, who is so good at chaining those takedown finishes together. Once he gets to your leg, it's very hard to try and deter him from completing a takedown. Oh, he got to his spot. Oh, nice elbow. Just over three minutes to go round one. 
Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Volkanovski. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Just misses with the straight right. Beautiful counter from Volkanovski. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. Wow, huge head kick. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm going to be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. Oh, right to the mouth. Posture's up now, and lamp the vicious head strike. Seconds left. Pretty athletic off his back right. to avoid that strike from the top. Oh. Round two straight ahead. You're being controlled on the ground here. He gets the takedown. I need you to put your feet on his hips immediately and push off. Don't rest until you're back up on your feet. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go. Round two. It is Ready Alexander fight. Volkanovsky Ready. versus Yair yeah. Rodriguez. Eats a jab there. Volkanovski continues to keep his opponent guessing here tonight. You lower the guard, and he goes upstairs and was able to land the right hand there. Landed that beautiful right hand. But if you start thinking leg kick, if you start thinking right hand, Alexander Volkanovski will change levels and explode into you. And when he gets his hands locked, you're going for the right. This guy's a full-on mixed martial arts fighter. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and... Nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. 38 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovski. And striking with about 48% accuracy against Yair Rodriguez. Volkanovski gets the single leg takedown. Knee on belly. All right, has the guard closed here. Making all these shots count. Rodriguez gets up. He is back on the feet here. On the shot. There you go, single leg. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Volkanovski. Oh, another strike lands from the top. On to the mount. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Volkanovski. 
Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Another strike gets through from the top position. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Good time. Good time. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round. A lot of high-level leg kicking going on there, champ. And he did a great job of hiding them. He wasn't giving any sign that he was going to throw those leg kicks. That's why you didn't see his opponent check any of the kicks. And it won't take many more for him to really damage the mobility of the other combatant. Ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Rodriguez really having a hard time putting weight on that leg. Now you can see the obvious limp, and a lot of that is due to the leg kicks, courtesy of his opponent. Volkanovski gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Side control now. Rodriguez getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Nicely done. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Volkanovski. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, uh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to working the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Another straight left. It's amazing. One calf kick can do so much damage. Starting to show some signs of bruising there. It's already starting to limit him. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. Oh! oh this could do it. Well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Let's go. Let's get the takedown. The unofficial numbers, 92 total strikes, have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. Well, more often than not, DC, when the strike has been thrown, it has found the home. 52% the accuracy rate against Yair Rodriguez. No defense against you. Back and forth. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Final 30 seconds of this third round. 20 seconds left. 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh. That's three rounds. Oh. We're now headed to the championship rounds. Okay, 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 okay. Our takedowns are not working yet. Okay, but we are not giving up with them. We are sticking with the game plan. We're going to go out there. We got to set up the shot. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? You ready? Go we on. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. 
All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. Oh! Another one! Oh, gotta keep pressing here! Well, getting harder to watch, right? Continuing to badger that calf area. The bruising looks bad. The bruising looks bad. He keeps going there, as he should. He should not stray away from landing these slow calf kicks. Back and forth we go! Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Single leg takedown is good. Oh, seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Rodriguez gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Oh, nice. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally, he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a credit to him to still even be fighting. But he's got to do something different if he has any designs of winning this fight. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues. Oh! Huge right hand! Jab, there's another one, so the double jab is there by Yair Rodriguez. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you wanna finish because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Now he's going full mount. Fighter trying to pass here. Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Huh. 20 minutes in the can. Five to go. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Oh, that's a round right. Oh, body shot. Oh, that kick. They're going at it now. Right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Good work from the top here by both of them. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage on. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Volkanovski. 
Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give him. Oh! Wow, go, go. all things considered, pretty good shot from bottom position. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Rodriguez's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Missed with that right hand. Oh! Oh, and there it is! Alexander, the great. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 48 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great Bononowski. All right, so Alexander Volkanovsky getting it done yet again, and with style points tonight, he is your winner by knockout. And, of course, the path to featherweight gold still goes.